The Medea hypothesis, proposed by paleontologist Peter Ward, argues that life, particularly multicellular life, might be inherently self-destructive. The name comes from the mythological character Medea, who killed her own children, symbolizing Earth's potential to destroy the life it sustains. Ward suggests that life, especially microorganisms, has often been the trigger for catastrophic events that reverted Earth to a microbial-dominated state, conditions that lasted for most of Earth's history. Several historical mass extinctions highlight this self-destructive pattern. About two and a half billion years ago, during the Great Oxidation Event, oxygen-producing microbes began releasing large amounts of oxygen into the air. While this was a big step for life as we know it, the oxygen was toxic to many existing organisms, causing massive die-offs. It also reduced methane, a gas that helps trap heat, which contributed to a global freeze called the Huronian glaciation. Later, approximately 675 million years ago, microbes removed a lot of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. With less of this heat-trapping gas, the planet experienced extreme glaciation, where ice covered nearly the entire Earth. Then, around 450 million years ago, during the late Ordovician mass extinction, the growth of land plants may have reduced carbon dioxide even further. This caused the planet to cool and led to another major freeze. There were also periods called euxinic events, where the oceans became low in oxygen, but high in toxic hydrogen sulfide due to the activity of certain microbes. These toxic conditions contributed to massive die-offs, including the Permian-Triassic extinction about 252 million years ago, which was one of the most devastating mass extinctions in Earth's history. Ward also suggests that the current climate change and biodiversity loss are part of this ongoing self-destructive cycle. He predicts that in 500 to 900 million years, Earth's climate will warm as the sun brightens, causing a drop in carbon dioxide levels that will make it impossible for plants to survive signaling the end of complex life on Earth. Despite this, Ward remains cautiously optimistic. He proposes that intelligent life, such as humans, might develop the ability to prevent or mitigate these destructive cycles, potentially avoiding the fate of the Medea hypothesis.